hello traders it's samurai trader here welcome to this market review of the euro stock x50 trade station code FESX and it is the 14th of the 9th 2016 I published yesterday on YouTube a recording on exactly this market and uh, I must have had 40 or 50 emails from members in the general public wanting more so here it is so I'm going to give you more uh, market reviews on this market moving forward particularly for our European members uh, of course this market opens up 5 p.m. Australian time which uh, if I stand correct it's uh, 8 a.m. London time and uh, so very very early in the morning for our USA members and uh, friends however it is a fantastic market we see some uh, really big volume and really this has come up I've been I, virtually every week I have members ask me about the European markets and if you haven't watched yesterday's video if you go back and have a look at it uh, going back six or seven years ago I would trade this market every night of the week and did very very well out of it and I've uh, been sidetracked by the ES but we're back trading it now so uh, I'm going to talk more and more about this market and eventually when we open our uh, our live room for the European time frames that is when the live room launch launches we're going to be doing the New York session the uh, London session will be the next one and this will be our main featured market so let's move right along understanding the risk for my members you see this in every one of my dozens of recordings for the general public if you haven't read this disclaimer uh, please take the time to read it and bottom line is don't trade with money you can't afford to lose and even more importantly gain the right education so all of what I'm about to cover of course is covered and I don't want to turn this into an advertisement this video so very quickly if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do visit my website and find out more about what I do okay let's move on uh, please go to full screen down the bottom right hand corner you'll be able to go to uh, full screen because in a moment we will be looking at some charts but a couple of things very important things I want to cover to begin with please traders um, I'm just recovering from a virus from the flu thanks to my darling wife and uh, she went for a holiday uh, to Bali with a girlfriend and come back and uh, bought this lovely bug back so I'm recovering but um, in my days in bed uh, I was reading or catching up on some of the things I wanted to revisit and one of them was the great book market wizards and I'm fortunate enough fortunate enough to have this CDs as well so I was reviewing the book and I had some uh, great CDs on interviews with some of these great traders and one of the things I wanted to say very very quickly was if when you go back and you really study the history of nearly all of these traders nearly every one of them multiple times early in their career has been wiped out or almost wiped out and you listen to some of the stories from these guys and you think wow they got through that they did some dumb things the things that we all do early in our careers and some of us continue to do throughout our careers so yes you can master this over time traders you can get your act together and when you go back and and uh, as most of you know I've got these folders on millionaire traders where I study what they're doing and um, uh, I've got some incredible personal goals I've set now I'm going to take my own personal trading to a, a, a new level and going back and looking at these guys nearly every one of them went through an incredible learning curve and traders you can fast track through that by modeling the success of others so traders you can do this but what you've got to do is give yourself some time patience and focus so a couple more slides before we go to the charts I want to explain some of the crippling factors for traders that I see every day I have hundreds of members around the world I deal with institutions and some great professional traders and we could we discuss this all the time I'm perhaps one of the most boring people to go and have lunch with because all I want to do is talk about is trading but the first major issue is a concept that I heard of it must have been seriously it would be 25 30 years ago by a great guy out of the USA uh, and he wasn't a trader by the way he was a management consultant and he taught a concept called confused knowledge now that is where we get so much information put before us this versus that 
we become confused uh, you know what do we do and of course confusion leads to inaction inaction leads to entering a trade late it leads to no action and of course you know at least some form of action is better than inaction but if you're getting in too late of course it causes all sorts of issues and of course for us as traders confused knowledge can be the amount of information that we're trying to process at once particularly when it comes to indicators on our charts now some of you may look at my charts and say wow there's so much crap on there so what I wanted to say to you is this that in real-time trading um, you may be able you may be able to and of course I've been doing this for so long now I can ignore a lot of the noise on my chart so what's the noise Well, the indicators the stuff that's going around but if you've got too much on your chart so what I'd like to recommend you do you sit down and you think what do I really need on my chart to trade with or what am I not using what do I not refer to 99% of the time and rip it off the chart because the less information you've got there or the less what would you call it noise or things that you don't use the better it makes it easier it makes you more confident so strip your chart charts back so sit back turn off all your distractions and I think I've even got this on the next slide here is turn off your distractions and focus and think what indicators do I really need on my charts likewise when you're looking back and um, it's a bit like let me take one step backwards it's a bit like where I teach so many different trading strategies how many do I personally trade every day well there's probably seven or eight of those because is the market range bound are we in a trending market uh, do we have extreme mean reversion trade setting up in which then I'll trade the t3 over t89 so I have different setups for different markets but getting back to that virtually everything now I can read purely off my off the EMAs my moving averages so sit back and think what do you really need to have on your charts and what setups do you really need to master and as you know early in your career you want to minimize those you really do so something I'd highly recommend you do and by the way I hope you're taking notes on this if not go back and replay this please the next thing uh, and basically the last point uh, over a couple of slides before we go to the charts is this do you suffer from shiny object syndrome now of course you've probably heard about this and I think it's with uh, with many animals with birds with um, ostriches etc where they see something shiny and of course they run over to it and try to pick it up but traders we suffer from that as well are you easily distracted by shiny new ideas are you constantly starting new ideas only to move on to the next one are you constantly in other words looking for the next best thing when it comes to trading particularly after perhaps you've been in sim you've been using the simulator it's gone well then you go live and guess what happens you have four losing trades in a row all of a sudden that's it let's go and look for something else let's go and look for the next new shiny idea is that you as soon as the going gets tough it's like going to the gym some people go to the gym for four days or start working out they wake up with sore muscles on the fourth day that's it they give it up because it's going to it's too damn hard for them traders this is one of the issues and this is I want to I'm talking to my members and the general public here don't do this I do this for you I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years in research development having the staff I've got the books tapes CDs computer programs you name it I've got it and and every week um, I'm researching something but improving things for our fund uh, for day trading for some of the automated stuff that I'm currently putting together with some traders in the US you know I love this stuff but what this means to you is this if there is a better idea for day trading I will give it to you and this is particularly aimed for my members I give it to you there is no cost for this I give it to you and if you look at um, the updates on my drive you'll see there's virtually no enhancements to what we're already doing because it works 
but traders stop looking for the next shiny object it's right here in front of you I give you the best of the best and of course with hundreds of members and the traders around the world seriously every single day I will have an idea put to me or hey have you seen this indicator have you seen this program have you looked at this and by the way members thank you very much keep them coming but very rarely will you see me post something on my Google Drive for it why because we've already covered you've got everything you need so traders what I want to say is learn to focus apply your discipline become patient with yourself be kind to yourself you can master the art of day trading you truly can now let's now uh, get straight to the charts so the FESX so as mentioned earlier it opens up uh, I think it's 8 a.m. Uh, London time uh, and the first hour it's very very uh, quiet so it's generally ignoring daylight savings here down under in Australia it's 5 p.m. our time so the first hour will tick away fairly slowly but then it'll really pick up okay so uh, what I just want to point out here was and we spoke about this yesterday pivots pivot trading or uh, as targets on the FESX this is the euro stock x50 as a reminder uh, works really well I really as I mentioned yesterday's video like the tick charts for 133 all right if you are a fib fan of course you're going to jump up to uh, 144 or if you want to speed the market up drop it down to an 89 tick that works really well as well so what I've got here is my uh, entry chart is the 133 on the right is the 377 as my higher time frame as the anchor chart so what we're looking at of course is we're looking for confirmation on our anchor chart with the trend direction trade with the trend now I love the counter trend trades extreme moves or the t7s the double bottoms the double tops but remember uh, there's a good chance you're going to be stopped out more often on those so you need to be patient you've just got to be aware of that but let's just have a look at here so we've broken down and what I've done uh, traders here is just marked up the t1 signals okay just so you can see here of course you've got your t25 you got them popping all over the place but then I've marked up the white candles of course are our t1s now what we want to look at here is of course is we've come through uh, we've gone up we've got a pivot bounce uh, as well as a t1 now are we going to be targeting pivot to pivot now for our pivot fans a lot of you like to target pivot to pivot I'm a scalper I'm in and out have a set target in and out because that works for me there's no right or wrong as long as you're in profit okay so we've come down here now what I wanted to point out here was this our pivot is down here and you can't see it here so we've actually come down but when you start to see this what I call flat bottoms so you've come down you've bounced a number of times here uh, you can see support and a lot of these are if you like artificial pivots or, or support resistance areas so just be aware of these here of course is your t20s you've gone up you've got a nice 89 200 B uh, and comment up here um, floor s1 so if you open up under the floor pivot you usually will go down to the s1 if you open above the floor um, uh, that is uh, to go long you usually head up to the r1 and that's you know more often than, than not it's pretty high percentage it's going to happen once you get below your, your r1s and your r2s or your s1s and s2s of course the accuracy drops off by the way so what I'm looking for is over here is I'm looking for what is my anchor chart telling me okay and if I was to scroll this back a bit more here let me just go back here what we can see here is everything's heading south okay we're heading down so we can see exactly so this is you know really increasing the probability of our trades now here of course this is what you really like to see you've got great divergence so you've got lower low on our divergence indicator high high on price similar thing happening on our anchor chart uh, yet our longer term EMAs are showing that we're still in a downtrend which really increases the probability of your trades so let's scroll along and see what other comments okay um, so where is my target so you can see we've had a market turn on both the entry chart and on our anchor chart so where's your chart target 
and you can see it now but back here you couldn't actually see that when I typed that in where is my target it's going to be below a pivot we're heading back down and of course bang down we go so for our traders that like to uh, have a higher profit target maybe you take your first contracts off at a set uh, target and let your seconds um, run maybe with a trailing target so you don't give too much back if it does bounce up so we've come down and you can see then we had a pivot bounce we formed a nice little um, uh, double bottom then a t7 and a pivot bounce up we went but what we can see here traders we're still in and sorry I'll just scroll back here we're still in a very very strong downtrend on our anchor chart so this didn't go too far we had an 89b uh, you can see up here back here you had a, a really nice t20 a t20 and you've got to watch these t20s against your 89s traders please be very careful of those then of course we've gone through for a nice another nice t20 be more cautious around your pivots but you've punched through a t1 now this was a case that you saw one of these right back at the open of the day remember how we went through the pivot okay we went up and we bounced on the pivot what did we have we had our first trade which is a t20-1 after a t20 and I really like these and there was one earlier you may have noticed where you've gone up you bounced off a pivot you have a t1 it's also a t10 notice that there you would be could have been in one candle earlier and you've come down uh, so really look for those when you get a t2 or you get a, a t3 against your pivots they work really well you've come down for your t7 a nice little double bottom there okay we've gone up uh, let me just um, go scroll along here um, you've got a, an 89b now I've got a comment here what's happening okay that's what I wanted to see he said what you've got is your a really nice t7 with the trend and as I said in yesterday's video bet the farm only joking you keep it within the risk management rules always within your risk management so you can see here we've had a, a nice uh, a t20 set up you got a t1 uh, you've got a little bit of divergence off your nice little double top there and away it goes so what do we got here and the other comment I've got here at traders is waiting for the sweet spot now there were four or five sweet spots we saw some incredible volume in Europe uh, yesterday uh, was much uh, greater than the US market on the ES actually and uh, once again sweet spots look at the trends okay and you can see we've got some incredible trendy markets and I've just marked up here divergence trades and this is the thing you've got to watch in strong trendy markets this is where the divergence traders can get killed okay you, you could have had a looked at a good entry there it was only good for three or four ticks well, what about here I've got divergence right you got smashed against the uh, 21 okay and finally you got a double bottom but only went up so far and it fell again so my so my recommendation is there for newer traders particularly is to really focus on your trend trading and because you can see here you're going to get these sweet spots you only need three or four of those traders a day and um, those trades a day and you've hit your 200 300 dollars a day per contract and you know uh, you've got a great lifestyle a fantastic lifestyle so traders uh, another nice come through you can see here you've got um, a t20 it failed against the 89 but then a beautiful one there another one there remember the more false t20s you have the more likely you are going to get one that really follows through as you can see what happened there then of course the market comes to an end of the day which you don't want to be trading so traders that is a very quick summary a 19 minute summary on the FTSX please keep those emails in on uh, what you'd like me to cover I'm actually going to do some recaps on the CL on the black gold um, in the next few days uh, oh well let me say take that back I've actually got to go overseas um, for a couple of for actually for all of next week I'm leaving on Saturday away overseas for a week so there won't be any recaps next week uh, but I have got down on my list TF and the CL okay so the Russell and the black gold are on the list to do and members I'm about to go and do in the next hour or so a Q&A session which I'll post on the drive so thank you traders uh, if you haven't subscribed please do more importantly or most important become a member thanks traders